merciful love of the Lord fills the earth. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the commemoration of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Apologies, friends, for yesterday's Mass. Uh, the battery ran out on the phone using to record Facebook, and it didn't work on YouTube either on the tablet, so apologies for that. Hope we get on better this morning. Um, the battery is fully charged, and I can see the tablet is on. We're offering Mass this morning for Mrs. Pam Bilofsky, who is very poorly. Um, Father Bilofsky was parish priest here, and uh, twice, in fact, and this is for his mother. First, brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven and addressed the crowd in a loud voice. The whole house of Israel can be certain that God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. Hearing this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the Apostles, What must we do, brothers? You must repent, Peter answered, and every one of you must be baptised in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise that was made is for you and your children, and for all those who are far away, for all those whom the Lord our God will call to himself. He spoke to them for a long time, using many arguments, and he urged them, Save yourselves from this perverse generation. They were convinced by his arguments, and they accepted what he said and were baptised. That very day, about three thousand were added to their number. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. The arrestful waters 
he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. He guides me along the right path. He is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are there with your crook and your staff. With these you give me comfort. You have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell for ever and ever. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. The merit in the sight of God is in bearing punishment patiently when you are punished after doing your duty. This, in fact, is what you were called to do, because Christ suffered for you and left an example for you to follow the way he took. He had not done anything wrong, and there had been no perjury in his mouth. He was insulted and did not retaliate with insult. When he was tortured, he made no threats, but he put his trust in the righteous judge. He was bearing our faults in his own body on the cross, so that we might die to our faults and live for holiness. Through his wounds you have been healed. You had gone astray like sheep, but now you have come back to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my own sheep, and my own know me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I tell you most solemnly, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold through the gate, but cuts in some other way, is a thief and a brigand. The one who enters through the gate is the shepherd of the flock. The gatekeeper lets him in, the sheep hear his voice. One by one he calls his own sheep and leads them out. When he has brought out his flock, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow because they know his voice. They never follow a stranger, but run away from him. They do not recognize the voice of strangers. Jesus told them this parable, but they failed to understand what he meant by telling it to them, so Jesus spoke to them again. I tell you most solemnly, I am the gate of the sheepfold. All others who have come are thieves and brigands, but the sheep took no notice of them. I am the gate. Anyone who enters through me will be safe. He will go freely in and out and be sure of finding pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come so that they may have life and have it to the full. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's homily has been sent out to those who would like it. If anyone else would like it, please send me an email. We make together our profession of Easter faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, he descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Almighty and merciful Father, we come before you asking for your help 
to control the coronavirus currently raging our world. Hear graciously the prayers we make for those affected by the virus. We pray for Pope Francis and follow his example to think of those who are suffering from sadness because they are alone or because they do not know what to expect in the future. May God grant them comfort in their sorrow. We pray for those working on an effective vaccine to combat the coronavirus and that it may be speedily found. We pray for our government and health authorities, that they take appropriate, compassionate steps for the good of all people. We pray for Romanians and all others that have left their homes and families to come to the United Kingdom to pick fruit and vegetables for farmers struggling to harvest their crops. We pray for those suffering with poor mental health, grant that they may gain strength from their faith and receive loving support through their struggles. As treatment and operations are delayed due to the coronavirus, we pray for those currently living with cancer or any chronic illness. We pray to ease their suffering and ask their heart to be filled with hope for the future. We pray for all individuals coming out of retirement to enlist as key workers. We commend their bravery and selflessness. May God bless and protect them. In our own community we pray for Father Caddick Layton, parish priest of Red Ruth and Camborne who died on Friday. For Father Seamus Ryan from our own congregation whose funeral was last Tuesday. And we pray for Kambilovsky, who is near to death. May their families find comfort in the resurrection of our Lord. We ask that Our Lady will join her prayers with ours, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Everlasting Lord, we thank you for listening to our prayer. Help us to focus our attention to you and be guided by your redeeming light. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these powerful mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to us.
proclaim you, O Lord. But in this time of old, to Lord you hear it more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with possible joy, every land, every people, exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognising the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will, to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one Spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Michael, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. 
Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever. Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. In this great thing of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us through him. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep its place for eternal life. The Good Shepherd has risen, who laid down his life for his sheep, and willingly died for his flock. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. Today is, of course, traditionally known as Good Shepherd Sunday, and we are asked to pray especially on this day for vocation to the religious life and the priesthood. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Joy to thee, O Queen of Heaven, Alleluia. He whom thou wast meet to bear, Alleluia. As he promised, hath arisen, Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. Follow.